enda supa olosho lang follow ni zile siku zenye niko kwa na suku na shoot i hope you to enjoy karibuni sana today we are going to do a certain rite of passage we are going to do circumcision in the agekoyo community so usiboeke Mazen ni awesome it's going to be awesome content. Alafu nataka kuanza kuwa thank sana all the subscribers huko maju manzeni nimeshukuru sana sana sana. It's awesome getting feedback from that far. Inanionyesha yani there's something I'm doing. Haya wale wageni msisahau hii channel si ile unataka ku miss. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this beautiful channel. Otherwise ah, nikijia just up IV Wacha to take break. Tunarudi usiende mbali. Haya wadau, karibuni, karibuni tena tuendelee. So, leo tunaenda kuongelelea mambo ya circumcision circumcision is a right of passage kila culture iko na right of passage kila culture maybe kuna different ways of circumcision kuna wale wanaongeleshwa tu tunapita kuna wale wanatolewa meno so today tunaenda kuongea kuhusu mambo ya circumcision kwa agekoyo culture mm -hmm. so tuanzie mwanzo hizo miaka za maumau ndio tunaongelelea so kulikuwa na hii mambo ya right of passage ya circumcision after mtu hii umezaliwa we ni boy umezaliwa umelelewa umeendelea na ka life hivi so kuna hiyo time ya yeah? you ready for circumcision so circumcision in the kikuyu culture was something very serious by the way ilikuwa pia ni process ya ina take ni process inachukuliwa serious juu ina take 2 weeks kulingana by the na wa kikuyu wao upona na 2 weeks so kuna hiyo process yote alafu circumcision alafu healing alafu kurudi home sasa tuendelee na hii story so u boy tumite kamau so kamau amefika time yake ya circumcision kitu ya kwanza saka, uh, kuna hii before the circumcision kuna kitu inaitwa dhingira dhingira i hope i'm pronouncing it right so dhingira ni ile nyumba yenye imejengwa mahali huko kwa bush that house ndio tawa host for that time. Awezi kikuyu huwezi tairi mtoto abaki nyumbani. Then that was wrong. So anatairiwa huko kwa msitu. So a week prior to the circumcision process, vijana wanachukuliwa, wanasheviwa, wanapakiwa mzigo zao wameenda kwa bush. So wameenda kwa bush, wameenda kupitia masomo fulani. So they go uh, kina kamao na mabeshte zake, kina njoro, kina huu, all of them they are together. So let's say we are talking about uh, Kikuyu's in uh, maybe say Kerenyaga. So that particular town or that particular community or siku it is announced that boys at certain age wana circumcisedio a certain day. So wana wanajikusanya wanajulikana wazazi wanajiprepare wanawataftia wale wa masupporters wale maanko wenye watawashikilia ni nini. Alafu day ya kwenda kwa dhigira inafika. Ni dhigira I think. Aya. So imefika ndio hii siku imefika vijana kina kama wamepack my bags kina joroge wameenda once they are in the vigira sasa hapo ndio kwanza unasahau kama ulikuwa na mama ama na sister anything female you forget remember once in the forest at the the, the, the vigira and you're ready to be circumcised hakuna time unafaa kuona any female figure you cannot see your mom you cannot see your sisters nada nothing like that so inafika siku ya kutahiri ya, ya, ya kuanza kuongeleshwa. Ha boys wanaongeleshwa vitu mob sana by the way. And it is very good. I came to realize eh? as I was doing my research. Hii kuongelesha watu hii ndio wakitoka hapo wamekuwa built into something else. Unajua before this circumcision they were just kids. We unajua tu mom, unajua dad, everything to you is just nile same place. Sasa hapa kuna change. Once you walk out of that door, you're supposed to be the man. Mali your father am a step akitoa hiyo mguu wewe umekanyanga hapo basically you take over so wameingizwa huko ndani wameanza kuongeleshwa they are taught so many things wanaongeleshwa mambo ya how to handle women how to handle themselves now watakuwa men wanaacha kuwa boys so wanafunzwa hizo vitu zote hey, hey. wanafunzwa mambo ya sex education 
you know what to do and what not to do. By the way, this is the time also on Ambiwa. Once you're done with the process, eh, the knife process, it can sure happen. For some time back upon. This is where they are told all those things. So Melan, Kina Kamawa Mejitarisha. Their uncles wali waleta, they take care of them. So food will be cooked uko home. But ikileto ivi karibia na dingira, akuna kuingia mama, they are not allowed. So they hand over the food to the guys that will take over. So wana chukua wana kuja wana wasot. So to say me practically, how a toto wali kwatu anona the elders au wana umu wengine wenye ni wakubwa role models wao wenye wanawashikile hiyo particular time stuff like that so this is kama wamemaliza masomo for one week these kids have been molded they are going to be men now they are ready prepared haya siku ya kisu ndio hiyo inakaribia so tuseme wana tairikesho this is the day before circumcision day before circumcision so wako prepared wameambiwa vile kutaenda what you are supposed to do and what you are not supposed to do one ukishatoka kwa maji mali utaekwa kwa maji utoke ukishatoka kwa hiyo maji ukanyanga hapo nje au fanye hata kuangalia chini from there on mpaka umalizie ndio unaweza fanya vitu kama hizo okay in case you flinch like ama hata u move tu kidogo ah wewe ni muoga sasa ushaleta maaibu home kwa hivyo ufai so vijana wameji prepare wakaenda kulala sijui by the way kama ulala mtu anaweza lala sijui i don't think so unajua unaanza kujipigia mahesabu vile kunaenda <laughs> ukiimagine kisu hata mie yenyewe siwezi lala so they have jana <clears throat> befika masa at around 6 am 5 6 am hapo apparently kuna story wanaita the mara time so mara was a guy alikuwa anaishi na mamake mamake akagonjeka lakini kama vile tulikuwa tumechekika kwa the Maasai community if someone is sick you don't have to wait for them to die akiwa home ah ah unamchukua unampeleka mstuni adae kwa sababu once akidai kwa hiyo hao mnaanza ku move nyinyi wote so the same applied apparently to the kikuyus so hiyo time ya mara niyo mapema sana before sunrise very early in the morning when it is chilly it's cold he woke up that day the mother was sick almost dying akamchukua akaenda kamweka kwa barabara ya ngombe mali walikuwa kienda kunywa maji wakienda malishoni so the mama alikuwa trampled na zile ngombe and she died this guy apparently alikuwa alikuwa warrior alikuwa a hero someone to look up to cause one alihakikisha wajama kwao na mamake pia alidai na walikuwa anaenda mapema sana kikuyuz kukunyusha ngombe maji because at a certain time wa masai ilikuwa time yao kuja na sawa to avoid the conflict kila mtu alikuwa na matime zao so wakikuyu walianzisha kwenda mapema then wa masai wana follow kwenda kupeleka ngombe mtoni so the same thing applies here mara hiyo saa ya asubuhi sana ikafika maboys wakaamshwa kina kama <laughs> wa bila wa imagine tuna hiyo baridi hakuna mtu akona nguo hey baka kwa mto mtoka yenye kwenye mangu huku hivi wakafika kwa mto ikafika ni masaa zao za kuingia kwa maji so unaingizwa kwa maji Some people will be asking where they want to kwa kwa nini? So the water, the cold water eh ilikuwa inact kama anastasia then. Atakuwa na hizi mambo za madawa na manini. So ni ukauke. It will also help you with coagulation of blood. So in case of anything unajua mwili kikwa moto alafu upata cut damu. So hii time haita kwa sababu ume freeze. So ameka kwa maji. Jamaa amefika na visu. Hey hey saya kisu imefika besimama so mnasimama line up unasimamishwa hapo so kuna zile fimbo walikuwa anga wakipewa eh unashikilia hivi once umeka mkono wako hapo you're not supposed to move until you're done so hata ze uko mali ameanzia akikuja 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 cut 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 tuseme kani my boys 20 yeah hiyo ndo process so anaanzia huko tu huko hiyo ufai kusonga ufai kufunga macho ufai kulia everything yani simama ki i think hapo ndo unafaa kusimama kama mwanaume na stand i don't know so ndio hao wanaume wamesimama imekatwa ha time for them to jifunga the kale so unakumbuka <clears throat> at this particular time wakiwa kwa maji walikuwa naked hizo mango zao eh zilikuwa zimeshikwa na huko hivyo so unapatiwa unafungwa unarudi ndani huko kwa kwa ile nyumba So wanaume tu ndio watakuwa kwa hii occasion. 
Man will be standing there. Unajua hata wewe unaangalia wako ule ulileta. Sasa kama anko ya kama hapo alikuwa nava, anaangalia kijana wake, hakusonga nyuma, hakuangusha mti. Awesome. So in case you did, umeangusha kamti ama sijuli songa ama ulifunga macho, ulilia. Ha, ah, shame, shame, shame. Umeleta shame kwa familia yenu. So wamemaliza circumcision. Sasa difference yao ni kuna tribes zingine zae upaka vitu kwa uso just also for numbing and everything but sasa hawa they don't kikuz ni kuingia kwa maji umetoka chua umemaliza yeah so sasa ni kwenda ku deal na the pain by the way pain then meant you are some, someone very strong that's why kitambo actually not just kikuz cuz hata wa masai there's nothing you would be given haijalishi you have to stand hakuna hata kamnyweso ama ka something no Ivo tu na hiyo hiyo pain ndio baki nayo that means that you man enough so i think pain kind of measured manhood or something i don't know so umemaliziwa mmeingia kwa dhingira sasa ni time ya kiateka kuwa shughulikia so this guy will be looking at the wounds cleaning stuff like that apparently this time also uko chakula inakuanga different wanapikiwa vitu zingine tofauti tu sana si kazi zile zenye walikuwa wanakula ama zenye watakula wakirudi home sasa hiyo ni ku build immunity na kuhakikisha damu imerudi the other thing they were advised to do a lot eh, ni kukunywa maji hao wase lazima kunywa maji lazima upii so there's that uh, you have to check water you pee so that there's no swelling and uh, blood clots so that was the whole process drink a lot pee come back eat drink pee hivyo hivyo tu hakuna mali nyingine mnaenda at this particular time sasa unaanza ku hata nyinyi mnajifeel imefika hiyo time yani eh so you're given only seven days in the dhingira seven days mkae hapo mpone once that is done your uncle comes for you so um here I forgot to mention your uncle once amekuleta anarudi home kwenda kukutengenezea dhingira yako sasa once you leave the the forest circumcised you cannot go back to your mother's house you cannot even step into that house one two amwezi hata kuonana na macho by the way, the moment you do that you have to run back to the dhingira and tell your mtahiri let's i don't know the circumciser that umeona mamako once that is done they they make a sacrifice by the way ni that serious lazima wachinje mbuzi hiyo damu ikuwe sacrifice kwa sababu sasa umefanya abomination yeah so ukitoka huku kwa dhingira ya, ya ile common unapelekwa kwa yako straight na only your uncle will handle you do not forget your parents your especially your mom and your sisters they cannot see you only your uncle ule alikupeleka ndiye anakushughulikia so umefika it's a week you have to take another say few days u heal u feel vile una feel one the reason why i'm come la allow you to check him madam be it your sister or any other woman is because of course as a guy you know things happen alafu unaweza umia stuff like that so huko allowed so mna rudi home ume chill mpaka upone the day una feel umepona kabisa also you are not allowed still to go back to your mothers you go back to the the dhingira ile site house yenye mlifanywa hii stuff yote unarudi mnaongea kama boys sasa sa nyinyi wote mmepona so mnaongea alafu now after the last blessing from the guy that circumcised you sasa mleza enda na mingle na wase yeah so mmetoka mmemaliza mnarudi home of course there's sherehe kuna hiyo celebration sasa mmerudi mmekuja kama wanaume sasa hapa kama u kila kitu babake alikuwa akifanya ako ready kufanya like taking care of property mambo na shamba you know mama yake ana shida nini sasa yeye ana take over yeye ndiye atakuwa anafanya hizi shughuli zote the other thing um circumcision then ikifanywa si hakuna mambo ya like sasa okay tuseme mimi ni kamau kuna ile age set ile circumcisedwa before me hawa sasa ni wakubwa kwangu lakini still naweza mingle na wao as in kuna ile period ya time some some kikuyuz would allow for the small boys to smoke with this uh, the ones that were earlier circumcised to smoke with them drink with them at that particular day talk about girls teasing girls 
there's a process they used to call it uh, kusafisha ile suit ya sufuria ile eh so alikuwa anaita hivyo but uh, okay although they were allowed to do this but akukwa na mambo na sex it was not allowed so just teasing and that's it but pia ni chini ya maji si eti ilikuwa allowed sana haya so boys amerudi akopoa about the girl circumcision uh, female genital mutilation eh Um yeah pia ilikuwa na happen sana wakikuyu then those days it used to happen a lot but chini ya maji so unasikia tuseme ni jeri jeri anaambiwa kesho utaenda kwa shosho so only the mom knows where this chick will go anapelekwa kwa shosho the same process is done but now for women it's a bit complicated and different women were allowed to cry if you wanna cry cry if you wanna scream in fact hata kulikuwa na wasio wanakuja kuwa hold down for that it was that painful so kwa wakukwa na hiyo it didn't really matter kama utapiga nduru ama nini hiyo that did not define you so it's okay to do whatever you wanna do alafu bado utakaa kwa shosho hadi upone so it was mostly for women it took up to like a month go through the healing process your grandmother will be preparing you for marriage yes so ukirudi kutoka kwa shosho sasa kuna hiyo sherehe ya kukurudisha home but just immediately it is done now you are ready for marriage So unapata njeri ndo huyo amerudi ako tayari kuolewa sasa. Ako tayari kwenda kuanzisha boma yake. Of course her, she can come back to the parents house for a while ndio atoke akiendaga. So hiyo ndo circumcision ya madem. Although saa hii especially here in Kenya it's illegal. Ukipatikana uko kwa hatia. So let's not do this man. Kama it's illegal it's illegal. So um if GM then was done but now no. Size the circumcision may change hata kwa kikuyu and other cultures imebadilika tu sana. Saa hii the kikuyus uh, they still do the process the whole one week. Sasa wanafanya. Today today is on Tuesday here. Uh, on Friday on on Saturday last week kuna wale washaingia hiyo process. For wataenda nayo hadi Sunday. So the whole process they'll go through. Wanava you know the kikuyu attire and the ngao and everything they'll do all that. But This time it is just done um, in a normal setup. Si uko bush, si o, just a normal setup. Size so, unajua watu wame wame evolve. There is no more kwenda kwa dhingira, kurudi kwa dhingira yako. No. Of course right now hata kuna unajua kuna wasi watao, kuna wasi wa ushags, but still sasa tunafuata kulingana na mali uko. So tuseme kama Kamau sa India angekuwa hapa this week angekuwa kwa hiyo training a whole week ameka huko wanasoma wamalize kufunzwa immediately wamemaliza kufunzwa ndio hao hadi hosi so nowadays it is not done in the forest it is done in hospital and proper anesthesia is given proper medical care is given the wound is covered kuna hiyo madawa antibiotics all the process should go through but sasa si kama ile ya ushago ya kitambo after that still sasa utarudi home there's no else you're going you know So utarudishwa home. The only thing that I know for sure is bado wezi kaa na mama yako nyumba moja. As I was being told earlier, kuna kale unaweza pata maybe kuna KSQ na kama mzazi ana SQ anaweza tafuta bifte yake, you know, but at least your respect lazima bado wa maintain. Bado pia uwezi kutana na madem. Hata kama uko na medication and everything, still things don't change. Yo culture hapo bado I think iko maintained, of which I think is actually way good because manze damage inaweza kuwa tu mbaya haya so sasa hii ukimaliza hiyo circumcision of course kuna hiyo sherehe kama kawaida you might not do it kama kitambo but si unajua unaitatua watu wako mabeshte maboys mnafanya hiyo kabash mnamaliza so hiyo ndio circumcision ya saa hii so if you compare circumcision then and circumcision now yes there is a difference but um, if You still wanna do it the old ways. Kuna places watu bado wanaenda. As I was being told earlier kuna centers in Gong, there is one at um, Kiambu, there is an in Kirinyaga. So there are many. You might choose, maybe unataka kupeleka wako go through the process. You might wanna do that and it's awesome. I mean, bora una raise man sasa kutoka boy. So hapo ndio mimi nilikuwa ni nimefikisha research yangu manze i know there is a lot to learn and also i'm being told maybe people are different so labda mimi mwenye where i did my research from kirinyaga is totally different with maybe kiambu nyeri or something but in case that is the uh, the case comment up chini i would want to come
talk to you, visit you, see the difference. I'd also still want to learn. I have a lot to learn about circumcision still. So, kama ni mekosea, uneza ni correct. Na kama kuna kitu sijataja pia, weka hapo kwa comments na taka kuifanya in the my next shoot. So, sisa how. Otherwise, I hope umelan because mimi ni melan. By the way, mimi ni mekua ni kilan tu sana. And I'm sure, ata ni kushua umelan. So, wacha mimi ni endele kuangale mandari ya hapa. Tutakutana tena next time. Bado ni nangoja hizo comments. Bado ni nangoja likes na subscribe. By the way, asante ni tu sana. Nkaulele is not nkaulele without you. So, keep it here next time. Tuwanane tena. Aya. Wee. Ii mambo yangu ya kuzunguka huku. Ah.